friends. Hi, it's Miss Jackie, and this is my friend Miss McWilliams. Hello, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to buddy read with you today. <laughs> we are going to read April Foolishness by Teresa Bateman. Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what Grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned for the grandkids, had come for their stay, and wouldn't you know it, they picked the right day. Oh, thank you. Grandpa, oh, Grandpa, the cows have got loose. I think Big Brown Bessie just stepped on a goose. The cows say, ouch, or someone says, ouch. Imagine, said Grandpa, good gracious alas. Then he poured some milk in a tall, frosty glass. Grandpa, oh, Grandpa, the chickens are out. They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. Oh, my. Imagine, said Grandpa, amazing, oh, my, as he popped some eggs into the skillet to fry. Grandpa, oh, Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. They're in the tomatoes. Oh, hurry, don't wait. Imagine, said Grandpa, I'm really quite shaken. He reached in the fridge, then he got out the bacon. Grandpa, oh, Grandpa, the goats are all freed. <laughs> They're running around in a smelly stampede. Did you hold your nose? I did. Okay. Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. Then he sliced the goat cheese and he, that he had bought from the dairy. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the sheep are all gone. Poor Grandpa. <laughs> I heard that they're munching on somebody's lawn. Oh, that one's taking a little nap. Imagine, said Grandpa, I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, well why won't you listen to me? The farm is going nuts. If you'd look, you would see. But Grandpa just grinned as he took out the bread and he popped in some toast for his breakfast instead. Grandpa's in for a surprise, eh? Mm-hmm, let's see. Then Grandpa appeared. What a hullabaloo! Who's causing this noise? The grandkids or you? It's nothing, said Grandpa. Ignore them, I say. They're, tr they're trying to trick me. It's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandma, you'll find to your sorrow it's not April Fool's Day today, but tomorrow. Then Grandpa turned red and he gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed out the door. Grandma just smiled as she pulled up a stool. She nibbled his toast and she called, April, April Fool! Fool! <laughs>